something always happened. Like a deal fell through, something always happened. So finally I got one. <laughs> now, all my accessories are fine. I have the EverDrive, which if you don't know what the EverDrive is, it's a little flash cart that lets you play, puts your ROMs on and you can play it on the console. So you're not emulating anything. You're actually playing them on the console. So there's no compatibility issues, but you can load all the ROMs in onto the cart through an SD card. And I also got this Retro Fighters Brawler 64, which is their updated controller. Obviously it looks more modern. It's got a redesigned stick and it's got two triggers. You probably can't see it, which is where the Z buttons would originally be. I heard it's got some issues, but I've played around with it and it feels pretty damn good. Um, it's gonna be good enough for me. Um, I think it's gonna do me some good. The stick wears out, as we all know. Um, the stick was made of plastic and sits in a plastic bowl. And so over time it rubbed against that and degraded and you had all sorts of issues. So I want I that's a controller I, for many, many years I've been waiting for someone to make that and they finally did. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to at least putting that through the paces. Um, I got the EverDrive cart, um, a couple other things. Now all I need is the N64. I got an N64 with an expansion um, uh, expansion pack. Of course, I have to have that right. And um, now there's shipping issues with it. Like, it's kind of funny. It's like, this is a thing that I've been wanting to do my for a very long time. I finally did it. And now there's some shipping issues going on with the actual console. The one th most important thing, really. And uh, I just really hope that it gets here and that there's not some weird issue like it was damaged or the label got peeled off somehow, the shipping label, or it gets sent back. I just, I really hope that it shows up um, because as of right now, there's an issue. I, I just, man, I really hope that it makes it here. I'll let you know if it does because I'm going to be one happy man, really, really happy. And, you know, the N64, it's kind of small, so I can pack it in if I'm going to travel for work or something. You know, it seems silly, but I'm, my days off from work when I'm, you know, I go stay somewhere, um, bust the N64 out and play it. So that's that. It was a long video, but I, I had to make this, I, I had to get my thoughts out there for you. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward to playing it um, and uh, playing a lot of games that I've never heard of uh, from browsing some pages and seeing some people talk about games I never knew. There's still a lot of games on the console that I've never heard of, never experienced. So um, yeah, there's a lot to look forward to and there's a lot to go back to. So yeah, this was my video, just, just my thoughts on the N64, why I love it so much. If you like the N64, you let me know. If you're a PS1 person, let me know. I, I always would go over to my friend's house and play the PS1. You know how it was back in the day. You'd flip-flop, your friends bring over a console, this or that. So I played all like Crash and Spyro and Siphon Filter and all those kind of games. So I got to experience both of them. And uh, I like them both, but I always have preferred the N64. Obviously, because I made a 40-minute video talking about it. Anyways, uh, that's all. Um, thank you for listening. If you've made it to the end, I, I, I wouldn't expect most people to listen to a 40-minute video. But if you did... That's awesome, man. Let me know your thoughts. I always like to hear from people. That's why I make videos. I don't make them just to because I'm some crazy person. Or am I? Uh, but uh, I like to hear from you. So everybody take care. Game on. Have a great day. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next time. Peace out.